Hello, beautiful dwellers. Welcome back to another episode of Dr. Wily's Revenge on the Game Boy. What we did the last episode, we killed the four uh, robot monsters. We destroyed them. We took their powers. And now we are on Dr. Wily, the man with the bozo haircut and the bad porn stash. I think we should make him grovel. I think we should make him cry and grovel for forgiveness. I can't wait. Let's get into this. Let's see what Dr. W Dr. Wiley has in store for us. Oh, okay. So he's in a uh, little hamburger here. Oh! Look at him, so shifty with his eyebrows. Uh, okay. <laughs> That castle is um, not camouflaged at all. <laughs> he does not care. Dr. Wily gives no, gives zero fuck at all. He's like, I don't even care if you know where my uh, tower is. All right, so they're gonna pull us in here and uh, looks like we're gonna have to fight a bunch of Susies right off the bat. Which is fine. Fill up some carry there. Go back to my plasma gun. Shoot! He looks like something that would be in like Doctor Who or something. These damn fans. Alright, so we need ice. Nope. And then just shoot him. Oh, nice. Got a one up. And then these guys are the moles. Oh, you don't want to do that. We just want to use our thunder beam to uh, get through these guys as fast as possible. I'm gonna stay back a little bit. I want I want some health. Give me some health. Come on, moles. Give me some health. They're not gonna give me health, are they? A little bit of health. Alright, we're good. Alright, so we wanna hug uh the left side here, and then hug this this wall here so we don't get hit by the uh, flame guy. And then hug all the way to the left, so we don't hit ourse ourselves with the uh, the one hit kill, the one hit kill um, spikes. Oh, these guys are so adorable! I love the uh, the little guys with the helmets. These are these guys are okay, um, but if you get them, oh another, holy one up! I guess they're expecting me to die a lot. All right, so I want to use carry again, and I think we have to use carry one more time here. Yes, we do. We'll go back to our... We'll go to elect. Ugh, this is always a pain in the butt when you have a fan on you. Okay. We're handling this, uh, this board like a, like a boss, I have to say. There's some more moles. This uh, this hallway is a little bit longer. Oh, good. I needed that. I could farm and fill up on some some uh, energy here, but I don't really think we need too much. Maybe ice. 
I'll fill that up. Yeah, I always enjoyed this, uh, this game here. But this part is a little monotonous, I would have to... have to admit here. Alright, so we're not too bad. Alright, so we are heading down. Oh, we're going into the darkness. And Dr. Wily's teleport system. Alright, so... This is a teleport system that take you to four different um, robot masters. The one on the top right is Bubble Man. The one on the bottom right is Heat Man. The one on the top left is Quick Man. And the one on the bottom left is Flash Man. So we are going to fight Bubble Man first. And we're going to use the Cut Man's uh, weapon. And uh, hopefully we get a good pattern with him. Oops. I just kind of ran into that. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad. We're not even getting any bubbles. So that's good. Oh. The bubble right there. Oh, got shot in the head. Maybe uh, two more, I would say. Got him. And that fills up my whole life. So yay! Good job, Mega Man. Alright, so killing Bubble Man will give me Bubble Lead, and I will use Bubble Lead to kill Heat Man next. So we remember Heat Man is on the bottom right. So we will flip over to BU. Hey, BU! Hopefully Heat Man gives me a good pattern, too. Looks like he is, uh, so far. Ah! Ah! And yes! Woo! Jump for joy! Yay! Alright, so... Heat Man's gonna give me the atomic fire. And we are going to hold off on the atomic fire. We're not going to use the atomic fire until the next board. So what we are going to use is ice. And we are going to fight Flashman. If, he, if Flashman's going to hit you, let him hit you with the gun. Doesn't take off much. His body, though, takes off a lot. Yay! So Flashman gives us a time stopper, which is weird. But in the menu, when, when you hit start... Uh, oops, I gotta leave. In the menu, when you hit start, it gives a initials FL, which I always thought was weird, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Because if it's like time stopper... Then why is it FL? I guess for Flash. I guess they. Oop, I guess they couldn't. Um, couldn't call it TP. I guess it's a little immature. Um, yeah, you know, I've I've equipped TP. I'm going to use my TP on you. <laughs> Suddenly, Mega Man's a college student. Out on Halloween night. So I'm going to use uh, Flash to get his uh, life down to 50% and then I will switch over to fire and the fire produces a fire bomb plus a fire shield around them which works very well with uh, with quick man so now we have the last guy Eckerd oh I'm sorry uh, <coughs> quick man is going to give me quick boomerang so, we will never use Quick Boomerang. There's no need to. So, the last boss is Eckerd. Eckerd is, a, is, I don't think was in any other Mega Man. I could be wrong by this, but uh, he might have been like Mega Man X or something like that. But uh, Eckerd has a, has a weird kind of um, pattern to him. So, he can either run towards me, 
He can either jump towards, uh, jump once and then run towards me, jump twice, or jump the full length of the screen. So I want to stay on the other side of the screen, and then at that point, after he jumps or whatever he does to get to the other side of the screen, he will hold up his sword. I will shoot his sword, and then that will charge his sword up, and then he will do a blast. So the more I shoot, the bigger the blast is going to be. <clears throat> so I don't want, um, I don't want to shoot his his sword as as a lot because I I need to jump over the blast. So hopefully he gives us a good pattern, just like the other ones. Oh. He did, but um, I I screwed up, and I screwed up again. I have to be very careful on the rest of this fight. Ah, got to not get hit by that sword. The tip of that sword is is difficult, and I lost. <coughs> It was just bad prediction on my part, but that's okay. We can fight him again. It's always hard to tell if he's gonna jump twice or he's gonna do a jump run. I keep on getting hit. I'm usually I don't do as bad. Maybe that's why they were giving me all those those one ups. I got him. <coughs> Alright, so it wasn't too pretty, but... Boop. So, Eckerd's gonna give me the... Mirror Blaster. Or Buster. Mirror Buster, yeah. And then that's gonna allow me to kick back any projectiles that shoot at me. And we're gonna be using that one for the very last boss. Which is Dr. Wily. And now, look at him. He's running away. Or he's flying away. I think he's drunk. Maybe done some, uh, Epsom salt. I don't know. Oh, there's a brand new tower here, huh? That Dr. Wily. Always hiding something up his sleeve. We're gonna handle all these guys. And we get to use our carry again. And I think we use our carry twice here. Oops. So all we gotta do is stand on these guys and uh, apparently uh, Mega Man's feet are very hot. We gotta wait for him to shoot. Be patient on that part. Wait for him. I do like how they incorporated the energy in the background graphics. Uh, and you, and we, you do notice that um, this this game is the only one that doesn't have energy. Maybe Mega Man 1 for the NES doesn't have one either. I don't think so. And then always the staple of Mega Man with the damn disappearing platforms. This first round of platforms isn't that bad. The second one is, uh, can get a little bad. Right? Use ice for this guy. Always cheating on these guys. That's okay. You do not want to face them. One more. Uh oh. Alright, let's see. We can handle them. Yep. Alright, jump over him. We're gonna ice him. He landed pretty well. Sometimes if he goes a little too low, uh, then uh, it's hard to hit him. It's hard to shoot him. Okay, so here's the second round. 
And you'll see why this is hard. Ah, you gotta time that perfectly, and you have to do it three times. I'm gonna be a little quiet going through here, just to make sure I don't die. And then this last one, I think you just drop down. Yeah. Ah, oh, that is nerve-wracking. Alright, that guy's a jerk. And drop that down. Oh, that's not a good position for him. Took care of it anyway. Take care of him. Oh, you know what I should do? Turn to electric. And then here we go. Just gotta make a run for it. And hopefully. Oh, perfect. That was. could have been better. Alright. Whoops. Alright, so in this next one, we gotta um, deal with these birds while climbing up these ladders. The reason why I kind of stopped right there and to look, uh, like, to the uh, left here, um, I went to spawn that bird over to that side. Oh, come on. So I had more time to shoot it. I'm probably going to do the same thing uh, going up here. So I'm going to look over to the right over here. Just for a split second to spawn him. And then I can handle that bird a lot easier. Okay, so we're going to use atomic fire now. We're going to charge it up. Get all blinky blink. And get that one up. Use the carry. And then use the atomic fire once more. And I will never have to use it again. <laughs> Alright, so I want to fill up uh, ice, I think. And electric. And I just want to stay to the very far right and uh, not hit any of the spikes. Oh, yep, got electric. Alright, took care of that. So we are almost there. We are almost at Dr. Wily. Got um, maybe another little section to go through here. Let me just... Alright, here we go. I'm gonna drop down and grab the one up. Okay, so we are at Dr. Wily. Um, so the there's two phases for Dr. Wily. The first phase is he's going to shoot out these buzz saws, and which I'll have to avoid and shoot the lower part of him to um, to to I guess destroy the little part of him that that it kind of like blocks his um, vulnerability. So after that, um, after that one, I uh, basically use the Eckerd Mirror Buster to deflect um, beams that he's going to be shooting at me afterwards. And then if I uh, do it correctly, he should die. Well, he shouldn't die. He's going to grovel. So this part's a little tough, uh, so I might be a little silent on this. Here we go. So he also has a claw that I kind of have to beat by standing close here, and then uh, the claw will try to grab me, and then I'll have to run away t to the left. Oh, 
Also, you don't want to have the mirror buster ah touch the claw because it actually drains its life. Whoops. Alright, we got a couple... A couple more here. One more. One more shot. We got it. We got it. Done. And there he is. Cry, baby, cry! Cry! That was from... That was from, uh, Christmas Story. <laughs> Oh, I almost feel bad for him, but not. And oh yeah, I always, I always notice that that this ending, Mega Man flies away on a U.S. A space shuttle for some reason. I always thought that was a little weird and funny. I was like, they just found a picture of a, a space shuttle, you know, like on the internet. <laughs> they were like, yes, this is what it's supposed to look like. <coughs> Um, yeah. I love playing this game, guys. I mean, you could spend, you could sit there on a Saturday and take an hour or two and just play through this game. And, uh, it's definitely a game that you can come back to and play over and over again. It, it, the weird thing about this game, and I'm gonna say this, you can not play the game for a month and then come back to the game and feel like it's a new game. That's a little weird to say because it's such a retro game, but it's it's actually true. It's like um, you never like remember where all the enemies are. You never remember like what you need to do to kill the boss, ma uh, the the robot masters, and and the uh, the ending boss. So it always feels like a new game, and and that's what I really love love about this game. And uh, the, the sprites are awesome, the, the ending is awesome, as you can see, you can see that they're, you know, doing like a, a character kind of a roll, roll call, so, I mean, it's just great. Um, I mean, with that being said, if you would gingerly, please, if you liked what you saw today, please hit the like button, or follow us on Twitter, or if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It means the world to us when we see those numbers go up, and um, we have a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff coming in the works, um, and a lot of stuff that is going to be released pretty soon. Um, that's in the editing uh, factory, um, also known as Scott. <laughs> Scott does most of the editing. So, um, with that being said, guys, uh, thank you so much for all the support and all the love. And uh, I'm really enjoying, um, you know, just being part of the YouTube community and watching all the channels, watching the streams, and watching, um, you know, the, the recorded recorded stuff, the vlogs. <coughs> and I'm losing my voice, so uh, apologies for that. Um, but with that being said, thank you again. Adios, and uh, God bless.